Steve, Shelley sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells on the seashore, she's surely selling seashore shells. Well, it's easy for you to say that. But Fabio, obviously you, you attempted to destabilise the Argentinian team recently by attending one of Diego Maradona's press conferences and, and urinating in his drink. Um, looking back at the footage, it, it really, really does seem as if he notices that, that you've done this. Will you, uh, will you tell him it was you, do you reckon? Uh, I will decide tomorrow. Dimitar, would you, ever, would you ever consider doing a wee in uh, Diego Maradona's water bottle? Why do you always ask me that question? Avram, you've just broken wind. Can you tell you if it'll be a bad one? Uh, let's wait and see. OK. What about now? Let's wait and see. It's not going to be pleasant, is it? No. Thierry, I believe Arsene Wenger just whipped out his old chap and showed it to you. How did you react to that? I was a bit embarrassed, to be honest. I didn't know what to do, so I just felt like clapping. Arsene, will you be, will you be exposing your genitals again in the near future? Uh, that's very difficult to predict. Landon, just talking to Thierry Henry about being flashed by Arsene Wenger, and, uh, and of course David Moyes showed you his, his private parts recently after a few drinks. What was, um, what was that like? It was interesting. Uh, for me, a very exciting experience. Rafa, do you reckon you can name every woman that you've ever been intimate with? Too many. So it will be difficult to just to name one or two too many. As if. Were they satisfied customers? We're not happy. Now, actually, I actually quite like you. How rare is it that someone says that to you? Uh, in a Chelsea, in a Chelsea shirt, it's very rare. Right, Carlo, we just wanted to see how long you can keep speaking for with one eyebrow raised in a sort of James Bond fashion. So, off you go. No, I don't know, because I was uh, uh, far from from the situation, but I don't want, I don't like to comment the, the job of the referee because I I prefer to speak uh, about uh, the match. It's about eight seconds. It's, yeah, it's quite good. Daniel, my colleague in Denmark says you are silent but deadly. Yeah, if you say it, probably yeah. <laughs> How did it feel breaking wind on telly? Um, it's always a good feeling. Roberto, first game of the season. Uh, I noticed there were quite a few throw-ins and corners and free kicks and passes and shots and stuff. Well, those things happen in football. Mm. You're a good-looking guy, Daniel. What do you put your looks down to? I don't know. I've just been blessed, I think. Controversial incident in the first half, Tony, when Mick McCarthy got his cock and balls out on the touchline. Um, what did you think of Mick's old chap? Well, you've seen it. What do you think, Guy? Yeah, my name's not Guy. I, I couldn't see it from where I was because it was right over the other side of the pitch and I haven't had the, uh, the chance to look at it on the, on the telly. David, one of Mick McCarthy's bollocks popped out today. Um, a bad day for him. Yeah, it was a mistake. It happens. He dropped the ball, you know. Uh, these things happen. Mick, any regrets about showing the world your genitals? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I'm happy with what I've got. Good for you.